Hello and welcome back to Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I am Jane DeGraff and today we are cooking what my family calls movie style meatballs or a classic meatball because it's what they've seen in the movies. Think Lady in the Tramp, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you get it. It's your red sauce with your meatballs and it's really simple, a great meal to throw together any night of the week. There's two parts to this recipe so we're going to get started on the first bit which is the red sauce and then we'll make the meatballs which is a lot of fun and the kids can get involved with. So what I have in my saucepan here is some red onion that I have fried down until it's nice and soft and translucent and sweet which is the basis for our sauce. To that I'm going to add some garlic and some thyme. Now the reason I'm using thyme is because that's what I'm going to flavour my meatballs with but you can use any herb you like. If it's parsley, oregano, basil, whatever you want. I'm going to pop that in along with some garlic. Stir that through. There we go. And then to that, I'm going to add two tins of tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Now you can use a bottled sauce if that's what you've got on hand. That is absolutely fine. But this is for when you want to know exactly what's in the sauce. And I just want to show you how easy it is, which is why we're making it first up. So we'll give that a lovely stir through. At this point you can add any spices that you like, a little bit of chilli, maybe some smoked paprika, but I like to put in a dash of Worcestershire sauce just for some added depth. Oh yes, nice and salty. And a little dash of balsamic vinegar because it's sweet and acidic. Now all we really want to do is cook those flavours down, keep an eye on it and add a little bit of beef stock or vegetable stock as you go just to make sure that it doesn't get too thick. You want it to thicken a bit but not too much and you want all those flavours to marry together. So what I'm going to do with this now is set it aside for 15 minutes to simmer very gently and while it's doing that I'm going to make the meatballs. Right, while our beautiful red sauce is simmering away on the stove it's time to make our meatballs. This is a great time to get the kids involved because they can use their little hands to roll the balls. The only thing you need to know about making meatballs is you need mince that still has fat in it. Don't go for lean mince because it's the fat that holds them together and you don't need to add anything else. No eggs, no breadcrumbs, nothing except for a bit of fried onion and some herbs. That is it. That's everything that goes into my meatballs. So this is a red onion that I've fried off with a little bit of thyme because that's the flavour I'm using in my sauce as well. I'm just going to pop that in with my pork and veal mince. And there is no other way to get this done properly other than to use your hands and really squeeze the mince up so that it's the meat itself that is holding everything together. So really get in there and work it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Oh, that is coming together so beautifully. Now you can see here it's starting to look really sticky, which is exactly what we want. That's going to hold our meatballs together. So I would say that has been worked quite enough and we are ready to roll our balls. Again, another great time to get the kids involved if they haven't done the squishing for you is definitely the rolling time. Now the biggest trick with rolling meatballs is to just wet your hand a little bit to help them not stick. You can do both hands and then my only other bit of advice is roll the size of meatball that you want to pick up on a fork and eat. You can make these big if you want to serve them as, you know, like little side dishes that people can eat with toothpicks, or you can make them teeny tiny if you've got little mouths to feed that prefer it that way. Me, I like them about this size. That's how my family eats them, that's how I'm going to make them. Our meatballs are rolled and our red sauce is simmering away so now what we're going to do is brown off our meatballs and then bring that red sauce in and put it all in the pan together to let the flavours marry up. But first we need to brown our meatballs. So into a pan with a little bit of olive oil. Don't overcrowd your pan. So if they don't all fit do them in batches. Put my giant one in there. <laughs> oh it smells so good. You can smell the thyme in there, the meat hitting the pan. The red sauce simmering away. This kitchen smells incredible. Those are browning so beautifully. They look incredible. It's important to remember you're not looking to cook them right through here. You just want to get nice crispy brown bits on the outside because they'll continue to cook once the red sauce goes into the pan. So just work on the outside for now. If you could only smell this, it's absolutely incredible. Those are our meatballs cooked in two batches. I'm just putting our first ones back into the pan. 
And our red sauce has simmered down beautifully, so now is the time to bring all those beautiful flavours together. So what I'm going to do now... Aha! Oh, it smells wonderful! The thyme in the red sauce and the thyme in the meatballs is really beautiful. So now all I'm going to do is turn the heat down nice and low and pour our beautiful thick red sauce all over our meatballs. Here we go. So, so good. All right. So, what we want to do now is let our meatballs finish off cooking and let all those flavours marry into our red sauce. So, we'll just give it a bit of a shake. There we go. Make sure those meatballs are nestled in the sauce. And now, we'll just let it simmer for another 15 minutes or until the meatballs are cooked through. And in the meantime, we're going to get our pasta ready so that we can serve it all up movie style. All right, so that is time on our beautiful meatballs and sauce. I've got some freshly cooked pasta here, so let's just spread that out onto our plate. It is spaghetti and meatballs movie style, so yes, I went with classic spaghetti, but you can use whatever pasta you like. So a nice big movie style serving here. Let's grab a spoon. Look at this, you can see the sauce is all thickened up beautifully and simmered right down. All the leaves have come off our stalk of herbs there so you can just pull that out if you want to and get it out of the way and all those leaves are all through our beautiful sauce so let's do this I can tell you right now I have a seven-year-old who is going to be so thrilled with the look of this dish so meatballs in the middle not skimping on this one here we go all the meatballs Look at this. Now I turned them a couple of times while they were simmering just to make sure that they got all those beautiful sauce flavours infused all the way through, which is exactly what we want. I reckon that's probably enough meatballs on there. But I do, I want it to look like a movie serving, you know, like a really beautiful movie style presentation. <laughs> Here we go. Now, finishing touches. We need... It's not a finished dish until it's got some parmesan over the top. So here we go. Look at that. How incredible does that look all over the plate. Rain of beautiful parmesan on top of our beautiful meatballs. And a little green sprig of herbs just to finish it off. Same herbs that we've used in the cooking, our beautiful thyme. So we're not introducing new flavours, we're just enhancing the ones that are already there. That is it. That is movie style meatballs made from scratch. Thank you so much for joining me for Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I will see you next time. I have to give this plate to the seven year old that is waiting for them. So what I'm going to do is have a little taste like this. Oh, that is so good. I hope you make this for your family.